Hey guys, welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I'm wearing Statement Piece by Raquel Welch in the color Glaze Strawberry. So I'm giving this lapel mic another try today. Um, I want to see if I could get some stronger sound without having to turn the volume way up. I love my boom mic, but I'm going to give this one another try today, see how that goes. So let's get started. Statement piece is a long-ish kind of collarbone, maybe a little bit longer on me, layered straight wig. I love, love, love all these layers. I love, I just love this look. And I think one of the reasons I love it so much is that never in my life have I ever been able to have layers. So this is so fun. And I don't know if it's my age or my face shape, but I'm just really finding that these layers around my face it just seems more flattering than um like i tried gabor's runway waves and it just it's a beautiful wig but it just hangs straight down and even my aspen the way it just hangs straight down i i kind of like this so much better this wig was sent to me by vogue wigs so thank you vogue wigs for reaching out and giving me the opportunity to review this wig I absolutely adore it. So if you go to the website, voguewigs.com, a couple of things that it says about statement piece is that it's got feather cut uh, eyelash bangs, um, that it is layered and straight and uh, hits at the collarbone. So all very true. I think they do a really good job of describing exactly what you're gonna get. So let's talk about this cap. This is a Raquel Welch average size cap. I love their caps. I mean, every Raquel Welch, well, I only have two others, but Raquel Welch caps fit me so well. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head and these just fit comfortably the second I put them on. There's no having to warm up and relax on my head. You can count on Raquel Welch wigs to be roomy and comfortable, and if you kind of have a larger head like me, they're gonna fit you right from the get-go. So other things about this cap, they have, it has a lace front. Raquel Welch does some of the best lace fronts, and one of the great features that they have on all their wigs is this highlighting around the face. And not only is it flattering to your face, but it hides any plugginess or any of the knots, and it just allows that lace front to just melt into your forehead. I love that. Not only, and they're comfortable, like you don't feel it. I mean, you put it on, I do the Patty Pearl, Patty's Pearls, if you go to her website, she has lots of great videos on how to put a wig on and make it look real. And one of the things she says is um, to press it into your head. And I really do find that that works. That's a really great tip. So I invite you to go to her videos and um, you'll learn a lot. So other things about this cap, lace front, uh, mono part, it's got a great mono part. I do have a wig grip on, so you might be able to see that a little bit. And Kathleen, um, she does blogs. She works for Sister Wigs or does blogs for Sister Wigs. She just did a blog about taking, um, oh gosh, now I forgot what it is, but it's like um, skin tone tape, maybe like a scar tape or, oh, I forgot what it's called now, but it's like a tape and she puts it on the inside of her cap along that part line and it, totally makes it look flesh colored. So I need to do that on my mono parts and mono tops because, I mean, I wear a tan colored wig grip, but you can still see it, but whatever, nobody's looking for that. So back to this cap, it has, Raquel Welch has great ear tabs. They are 
great coverage. They've got the good stays right at the temple. They're velvet covered. She's got the velvet covered extended nape and Velcro adjusters. And Velcro adjusters, I say it in almost every video, they're my favorite. You put them where you want them, you don't have to worry about them coming undone or slipping around at all. The rest of the cap is open wefted, so you're left with a, a light, airy, stretchy cap. Just really comfortable. I just, I don't have any, anything bad to say about a Raquel Welch cap. They're just great. This color, like I said, glazed strawberry. The color code is R29S+. This is my favorite color, y'all. I just, I love it. It is a true strawberry blonde. It's got the golden blonde. It's got caramel. It's got some rusty red colors, coppery colors. I mean, it just has it all. It has every color that you want in a strawberry blonde. So if you have been on the hunt for a strawberry blonde, order a Raquel Well twig in glazed strawberry. You won't be disappointed. I used to think, oh, I wish every wig would come in this color. But then, what's the fun in that? It's kind of neat having different colors to put on on, you know, sometimes multiple wigs in one day, depending on how I'm feeling. But I like having the different colors. And But this is my go-to. One of the reasons that I'm so drawn to this color is that even when I don't have makeup on, because in my regular life, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I might slap on mascara, you know, if I'm feeling like it. So this color just goes so well with my natural skin tone that with or without makeup, I feel confident and comfortable in this wig. Yesterday, I posted a, well, I posted a video on Monday, but on Sunday, I ran to the grocery store and I had no makeup on and I had this wig and I felt great. I mean, it's just a really good color for my skin tone. So with or without makeup, I feel great in it. I also have this color in Brave the Wave. Um, that was the first Raquel Welch wig that I bought and fell in love with and, and why I fell in love with this color. I then bought Maximum Impact and I thought I would go out. Well, I don't think Maximum Impact comes in this color or didn't come in this color when I ordered it. So I got a little daring and ordered it in Fiery Copper. I won't order that color again, but it's super pretty. It's just not for me. Okay, let's talk about the measurements of this. So the bang is 6.75. The crown is 9.5. The sides are eight. And the back is nine and the nape is 10.75. And I love it when the nape is longer than the back measurement. Because what that tells you is that you're gonna get that really beautiful taper shape. And I love that. I, Because I never had that. I never had long hair like that. Now I love it. When I'm buying a wig, it's not like gonna make me not buy a wig or buy a wig based on those measurements but I'm pleasantly surprised when I get that wig and I see that really neat, that really pretty taper shape. Oh, I just love it. This wig weighs 4.5 ounces. So I don't really know, I don't really have much to say about weights on wigs. I don't really have any wigs that feel heavy. I guess there's definitely some that are lighter, but I don't, I guess I just don't really notice it. So I'm basically giving you the weight amounts because it's listed <laughs> as a feature or as you know it's listed on the website and so that might be important to some people on how that feels but um, I don't really know what to say about the weights of wigs they all feel about the same and comfortable okay so my overall thoughts about statement piece is that I love it I love the the layers and um, I love that it's just a comb and go. Because it's a straight wig, I can take my wide tooth comb, comb it out, off I go. One thing, I wore it out 
um, to dinner with some friends uh, last week sometime. And I think the only thing that I really noticed was that it did start to look stringy by the end of the night. So we, w we drove from one place to another at one point, And so I, I did comb it out in the car, but then even by the time we got home and I took it off and I was detangling it, it was pretty tangled underneath, which, you know, that's to be expected of a long wig. But then I just kind of noticed that it does get a little stringy. I, I don't think, you know, I've just never had hair like this before. So if you have long straight hair, uh, maybe you can weigh in here, but I don't think that that's an abnormal thing to happen for long straight hair. I think as I had this on for like six, seven hours, I think that was a pretty natural thing to happen. And I was inside and outside and it was windy. And so, I mean, I was, it was kind of a hard, a hard night on the wig. <laughs> you know, I think it held up really well. It just got a little tangled and it got a little stringy. So that would be my um, only thing to say for wearing it for a long time. Maybe bring your comb, you know, hit the bathroom and comb it out every so often if you want to keep it uh, looking super fresh and and new. Uh, the other thing to that I have to keep my eye on is that this top does have some kind of flyaway hairs that are shorter. When I first went to wear it that, that first night that I was gonna wear it, I was kind of like, wow, what am I gonna do with this? Because it was quite a bit. I had some contour cream. I rubbed that between my fingers and I just kind of put that over the top of it and laid those hairs down. And then as I was styling it, cause I wanted some volume and um, I really wanted to highlight these layers. So I took some holding spray and was spraying it. And so that also helped tame down those flyaways that were up there. So the next time that I put it on, they had kind of sprouted back up and I just took a spray bottle of water and just kind of lightly misted it and tamped those down and because I had that contour cream left over and the holding spray it just kind of grabbed onto that and and weighted those hairs back down. The other thing I'm not afraid to do though is if I have a hair that just does not want to do what I want it to do I pull that sucker out. I mean no reason to keep messing with that. If you've got hairs that bother you, I mean, I wear wigs that I need them to do most of the work for me. So I don't wanna be worrying about weird little hairs that wanna stick out everywhere. So I just pull them out. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything as far as I can see. The density and permatease on this wig, I feel like is pretty low. Um, I just think this is a perfect length. It's not too long, it's not too short. It's just that um, kind of just past the shoulders but then a little bit longer in back. And I mean, it's got some permatease in it but kind of just around it. I mean, I don't think there's any permatease on top. I think where you're gonna find the permatease and it's kind of hard for me to feel it because I have a wig grip on. So sometimes I'm like, is that the puffiness from the wig grip or from permatease? But yeah, I think there's permatease just kind of like right around this band right here. Like just enough to be able to give you some volume, give you some style to work with. You can either comb it down and have it be you know, more flat against your head, or tip that head over and get in there and and play with your hair and, and get some volume. It's a really cute style. It is a style too that you don't have to have this up and away. If you want more of a um, side sweat bang. I mean, you can definitely do that. Look how cute that is. But I just prefer my hair to be up and um, off in my face. So you can do that too. It's such a cute wig. <laughs> oh, the other thing. So this side, if you'll notice, this hair kind of wants to um, go against, I'm gonna grab my comb and comb this out back here. <clears throat> so 
So it kind of wants to do a weird, like I want it to be feathered all back and this kind of wants to lump up a little bit. So um, I think that's just gonna take some training. I think it's just gonna take some training. When I first got it out of the box, I think because it's a layered straight style and the way it was in the box, it kind of got, just got misshapen a little bit. I'll just say it that way. So I sprayed it down and then let it hang upside down all night. And when I got it out the next day, it was wearable. It still is different than this side. Um, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, it just wants to be a little bit puffy right there. And I think it, it just, you know, it just got misshapen a little bit in being in the box. So I think just the more I wear it, the more, you know, probably after the first time that I wash it, and then hang it upside down. That's probably gonna go right away, but it's not enough to bother me. I really easy, just pop on, comb out, and go. Okay guys, so this has been Statement Piece by Raquel Welch in the color Glazed Strawberry. Thank you again, Vogue Wigs, for reaching out and allowing me to do this review on this beautiful wig. I absolutely adore it. And what a great way to start the new year. I can't believe today is January 1st, 2019. What? What a year 2018 was. So many changes in my life. I'm so grateful for this wig community, for you guys allowing me to come into your YouTube world and subscribe to my channel and comment on my videos. I value and appreciate every one of you. And whether you agree with every video that I make or you don't, I appreciate your comment. I appreciate your feedback. We're all in this together. I don't expect everyone to like every review that I make. So I appreciate you and I appreciate your comments and your feedback and for continuing to tune in to my channel and watch my reviews because I love making them. I love wearing wigs. I love the freedom and the confidence that these wigs have given me over the past six months. I just don't think there's any going back. <laughs> so here's to a new year, you guys. Whatever goals you have set or maybe you don't set goals, I wish you the best. I'll see you guys next week. I have no idea what wig I'm going to do next week, but I'll be here next week. See you guys then.